believe in mermaids. What if I told you that there's cave paintings done by Khoisan in South Africa that depict mermaids? You might think I'm crazy, but it's true. And right now, we are on our way to go find these paintings. There's obviously not a lot of people that walk these trails. It is Monday morning after the festival, leaving now. You can check Oaks are packing up, setting the tents down, getting ready to go home. But we've got one more stop. We are going to go find some Bushman paintings about mermaids. Yes, you heard that right. We are going to go find Bushman paintings about mermaids mermaids stay tuned for more after leaving the campsite we had a short drive on the dirt road and then finally we reached our destination the cave was quite a ways off so we started our perilous journey four of us entered but only two would make it to the cave our first obstacle was walking through a sea of reeds over the river luckily there were some stones laid out on the pathway after making it out the other side, I had some great words of wisdom. These paintings better be worth it, us. We pressed on and made our way down to and over the second part of the river. It was here on the slippery rocks where we had our first casualty. Whoopsie. Are you alright? She was alright, save for quite a nasty bruise but sadly unable to continue and hence we lost Genevieve and Theo. There's obviously not a lot of people that walk these trails because it's so overgrown. I'm literally just making my way through bushes and reeds. Um, so it should be a well preserved place. But yeah, it's quite a, quite a bit of a mission to get there. After a walk that felt like it lasted forever, as well as me getting my bundu bashing for the day in, I finally got a good glimpse of the cave. After a hop, skip and a climb, I finally made it to the cave. Of course, Brittany was already there. Inside the cave, we found a variety of paintings, including that of humans and what I like to call Mr. Fat Man. This is his fat body and his legs. Fat man! Although this painting is probably that of a water sculpt or a turtle, it might also depict a time of plenty. Sadly, one of the cave paintings was vandalized, but the one that we came for was in perfect condition. These paintings have been the cause of deliberation for centuries. Some say it's mermaids, where others believe it's a ritual involving swallows. It's impossible to ignore the fact that these have tails, but if they are actually swallows, what are they doing here? Naturally, swallows can't carry anything with their wings, but let's say for a moment that these are actually a ritual involving swallows. A very interesting fact is that in West African cultures, this is a symbol for water. If we look at the painting, we can see the same pattern emerging. It even has two arms and a head. Don't you think that this literally means water person? The Khoi and San used to paint things that they saw, such as animals. If they went through all the trouble to only paint things as they saw them, why would they now paint a ritual involving swallows? Granted, they did paint some things that I have no idea what it is. So maybe I'm wrong. But what if I'm right and these are actually mermaids? Well, that's all for you to decide. However, I will ask you one favor. If you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as we travel South Africa looking for more myths and legends.